I'm here to tell you about how completely nuts you are. From the perspective of somebody equally as nuts. <laughs> I'm a very reliable source. Trust me. I'm insane. And like attracts like. And this is what you want. A crazy person. Speaking to you the truth. From the perspective of nuts. But I personally like fruits. <laughs> fruits and nuts, they go together. You put them in a bag and you have trail mix. It's good for the path we are on. I'm walking it the best that I can. Chewing and eating my trail mix, my chewy pieces, stuck in my teeth, giving me toothaches. There's no dentist on this path. But oh, there are toothaches. There are ear infections. There are digestive problems. <laughs> you might even stub your toe. But still we walk. Every day into oblivion. The great, vast, beautiful, majestic, what is going on? And does it answer? No. It says nothing. Why? Because we are crazy. And we are asking nothing to be something. So what does it do? It becomes something. That something being us. Where there is nothing but us. But what are we? But nothing. For we are insane and can't seem to identify exactly who we are. Because we're insane. And only crazy people do not know that they are insane. So obviously, as I'm fully aware of my complete insanity, I am the only sane person on the planet. Unless you subscribe to me. Invest in insanity to find clarity. Why? Because the universe exists on contrast. If you invest in what is crazy, you will discover sanity. For eventually, the well will be dry, and you will have nothing. And then you will find that you are that nothing. And that's totally fine. And questions make you crazy. Why nothing? Why are you nothing? Be a thing. What is a thing? Ah! Ah! Change, form, make form, for I am alone, but are you alone? How many people are there? How many people are there? Yet we are all alone. Silly crazies! There's so many of us, yet we are all isolated in tiny little boxes, losing our minds. But what do we find when we lose our minds? Nothing. We find nothing. Which is fantastic. Why? Because nothing makes you more crazier than your mind. Because crazy can only exist in your mind. Because it is a word. Crazy. A word. 
a concept, a construct, a formula that we resist. Yet, it is only in our minds, this word. Crazy. Everything is crazy. You are crazy. He is crazy. The government is crazy. My family is crazy. Yes, they are. Why? Because we all share this word. And all of the things attached to this word, like a giant web. Touching everything. Crawling with spiders. So many spiders. And we say, get away spiders. You're going to kill me. You're going to bite me. But you are this small. And we are this big. Crazy. To be terrified of a tiny spider. Spinning a tiny web. So easy to brush it away. Yet what do we do? We leave it there for fear that it will kill us. This is a small metaphor given to us by nature to express simply how we are lazy and crazy. Staring at a tiny web saying, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get near that thing. I might get stuck in there. You're much bigger than the web. And what is the web? Because if you are seeing it, it is inside of you. But we are crazy, so we pretend that it's just on the outside. But the outside and the inside are the same thing. Just like lunacy and sanity are the same thing. Two paralleled opposites, creating a universe for experience, bouncing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth in indecision, unable to understand what is going on because it all comes from nothing and you cannot understand something that has not even the word understanding inside of it because it came out of it and is no longer in it because nothing is in it. It simply brings forth. 